I always say he is a tiny boy with a big personality. Any box he can see, he will jump right into that thing and start <laughs> singing. He does so many small things that you just laugh. One day we went for a walk and in the parking lot we saw a small rooster. I thought to myself, oh my gosh, he's so beautiful. But nothing was around. A week later, he was still there walking from car to car and kind of like begging for food. Then when we were loading our bikes in the truck, <laughs> the door was open. He just jumped in the truck. And we were like, okay, I'll take it as a sign that he wants to come with us. So Kyle came with us and we started reading about how to take care of chickens. We didn't know where he would sleep. And Kyle just jumped on this shelf and decided this is my spot. It's been a joy to have Kyle and Miss Pumpkin. It's like the whole new world opened up for me, like chicken world. They have cheered us up when we felt down. They've often given us a sense of purpose and definitely family. Oh, by the way, I just remember, I want to tell you that within four days, I have three, three options. Option number one is the ultimate, that is, I will be killed. Because the negative force, we use some tragic means to kill me. Then I could just die and no one would be there physically to help me or to know about it until maybe far, far later on. I didn't see when. Another option is I have to go far away without anybody who knows me, hoping that the negative power will not find someone who is suitable to kill me there. Option number three. Oh, I have to stop for a while. Okay. Oh, I feel better now. I was just too kind of emotional that I had to stop for a while. Now, option number three is, uh, you know, a good one, lucky one, that I might live, that I will live and continue to be with you and share with you the teaching from heaven that I might even tell you anything at all, yes, that I am allowed to tell by the grace of all the Buddhas and God, okay? Even in the physical body, no master can tell you all the things. The Buddha once said that, whatever he told them, the disciples, it's just some leaves in his hands compared to the whole forest leaves on our planet, yeah? So you know how much he could tell and how much he still could not. Also because uh, this time consuming and the physical faculties of the disciples are not always sharp enough to understand everything. Remember one time the Buddha told uh, Reverend Anand his foremost, you know, devoted attendant, that he, the Buddha, has attained some super power that he could stay in the physical world forever if uh, we wanted it. And he asked Ananda the first time. Ananda was just like sleepy, didn't hear, didn't say anything. The second time, <laughs> Anand also didn't hear, didn't respond, did not react in any way. The third time Buddha asked again, Ananda also didn't say anything. If he has said, oh, please, we're on a one, please stay with us forever because we need you. We sentient beings here in the suffering samsara world need you a lot. But he didn't say anything. So after that, the Maya king came to say to the Buddha, 
okay, in three months you have to leave the world because nobody wants you. You see, everything the Buddha asks or any master asks you cannot be more than three times if you don't answer. That's why the Buddha has gone from us. This is the greatest pity in my heart. The Buddha was here. Our world would have been much better a paradise for all to enjoy. Because if the Buddha had continued to live physically in our world, then the Buddha would not have taught just some thousands of disciples, but more and more, and his compassion, his merciful teaching would have spread all over the world, then our world would have changed. Nowadays, we have more high-tech and all kinds of convenience and transportation so that the Buddha's teaching would not just be printed in the old-fashioned way in some book somewhere in the library or in some temples, but would be spread all over the planet. I mean, not because all the monks and nuns recite it, but because the Buddha's own words himself in his own voice would have carried tremendous power to awaken people. Otherwise, if just by reading the sutras, we become enlightened and change the world, then we would have done it long ago because there are so many millions of Buddhist followers, maybe hundreds of thousands or millions of monks and nuns are reciting Buddhist sutras every day. And nothing has changed in our world. You see, there's a difference when the Master himself spoke thus. Because everything stems in from an enlightened Master, such as the Buddha or Lord Jesus, would have, oh my God, enormous power to awaken the hearts, the minds, and the inhabited souls of the people and other beings as well. It's not the same when you repeat the words by your own voice, because you don't have enough power carried in your words to transmit it into the world, to the outside people. You know it yourself, yes? Mm. Uh, by the way, don't worry too much about it. I'm just informing you in case you see, the King of Kama informed me of all that, about my four days of, you know, life and death situation. And he also revealed to me a way to overcome this uh, tragic harm that uh, will be imposed on me by Maya, by the Kama Gap power, the negative power, yes? But I'm not sure. Well. I feel that I can do it, but I'm still I'm 5% not sure, okay? Well, to be positive, I try to believe that I can do it, but who knows if the karma out of the world will also be added on to my situation, then I have to be honest, I can't be sure. Just in case the number one option happens to succeed and the number two and number three fail, Please know that I love you a lot, all the time, anytime. I always love you, even here or in heaven, low or high, or my own heaven above. I will always be with you, help you, support you, protect you, rescue you, and uplift you in any way possible. I will not leave you at all, ever, okay? but try your best also to be worthy of all the saints and sages, meaning Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, in all directions of all times, and God Almighty power that tries to help you. Please be worthy. Try your best. That's all. That's all you need to do. Try your very best. Right. Suppose something happened to me and you won't hear from me, don't see me again, then Please continue to practice as much as you can, yes? And then uh, you continue to do the Supreme Master Television until you can't, yes? All right. You have been trained for several years now, and you know what you should do.
If I'm not there anymore to correct you, to direct you, or to suggest to you anything new, or to help you in any way, physically, I will do so spiritually. I will always be there with you. Just be calm, be inward. Then you will hear, you will see, you will feel, you will know what I'm trying to tell you. Okay? Just be pure, be quiet inside, and you will hear it. You will know it. You will feel it. May you be blessed forever. Amen. Thank you. And concerning the departure of my body, in case, in case it really happens, don't blame anything. It's just maybe the world karma is too big again. Yeah? Also, together with the wicked uh, magic and uh, negative power, uh, this uh, witch woman doesn't just have herself. She also has 510 followers, all demons, all wicked, all bad. Like attract like, you know? So it's, uh, it's not all that easy, okay? Um, when the Buddha was alive, it is said that for three months, because the disciples' karma was too heavy, the Buddha had nothing to eat. He had to consume horse feet. And that was in India. In the East, people still have more respect for monks. And they've been more used to a gentle teaching. And they've been brought up to respect, you know, spiritual practitioners. But still, he was treated like that. And almost died with his cousin rolling rocks on him. Or wanting to kill him, but could only chop one of his toes. And Lord Jesus has been persecuted ever since he came out to teach the truth. And then finally was crucified on the cross like that. It is because this physical world has very rough energy, not tolerant, not benevolent at all, due to humans' violent actions. Since how long already, you know, we can't count. So now and then there is a breakdown in the system, like pandemics, like epidemics, destruction from disasters, war, etc. Yeah. But still, not enough to cleanse all the karma of the planet. So now there is a big time going on. Maybe we are facing the end. All the angels, all the heavens, all the Buddhas and Masters, even God Almighty were trying to help us. But we need to take the instrument that can help us. We have to take the way that can give us freedom of escape. But we, we don't. We don't. Because if we create violence, then the violence will return to us like a boomerang. Hmm? It's like whatever you saw, so shall you reap. And the helpers can only try their best and shed their tears. They do what they can. But we are the ones, the main characters, who have to really help ourselves to show the real Buddha nature to a certain degree at least. If we don't recognize it, we don't reach Buddhahood yet. At least we have to show some degree of loving kindness, yes? And we have to show the God merciful children status. Otherwise, we get nothing like that. If we continue to create violence for other humans and for all other beings as well, then we can't, we can't have anything else in return except that which we have thrown out. As you sow, so shall you reap. Whatever karma you create, you will receive the same result. Any religion tells the same thing. See, Christianity says that. Buddhism says that. Jainism says the same thing. Hinduism says the same thing. Islam also says the same thing. It's just we have to find and practice it. Okay? We have to find that teaching in there in our own religion and practice it, then we will know. Otherwise, there's not much 
more the saints and sages or the Buddha can do. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, is a world-renowned spiritual teacher, humanitarian, and artist. To learn more about her compassionate life and teachings, please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash master. Peace is happening around our world. Peace news number 94 of many and counting. There are many countries promoting peace and fostering amity among peoples and governments. Etc. March 2024 Colombia offers to start peace discussions with the Gulf clan the country's largest criminal group, on the condition that it end its illicit activities. In response, the organization accepts and states that the talks will allow the social transformations that we all want for the regions where we are present. By creating peace, we all can make a loving, serene, and prosperous world. Vegan, spread joy of life, not fear of death.